So when we are dealing with exponent no, in the denominator, that is an odd number. When the exponent n is odd from 1 over x raised to n, the tendency here is when you are referring to the left of that zero, well, from 1 over x raised to n, because it is zero denominator that will give you this kind of form, 1 over 0 form. Ang 1 over 0 form, ang katumbas niya is infinity. Pero para malinaw daw, paano kung ang exponent mo ng x raised to n na yan ay isang odd number? Ano ang ine-expect mo? First, when you are referring to the left of 0 on this given, y will keep on increasing. So ang ibig sabihin nito, pag nilapitan mo ang 0 mula sa right, aakyat ang ang y. Okay, the value sa power will increase. Pero, I don't know, no, maligtad ako. That must be on the right. When you're referring to the right, y values will keep on increasing. So here, this is right of 0, and the values of y here keeps on increasing. But I, however, when you talk about the left of 0, the values of y keeps on decreasing. Okay, and then you have here x approaches zero from the left. Okay, pero kapag even kasi yung exponent mo, pareho silang pataas. Pareho silang pataas yan. Bakit if you have 1 over x raised to n, kapag ang n mo ay even, wala kang negative values. For example, 1 over x squared, wala naman talagang negative values ang 1 over x squared. Okay. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, class, <clears throat> kung ano yung makakapag-zero sa denominator, kung ano yung x value na makakapag-zero sa denominator, provided that the exponent of the given uh, expression sa denominator ay isang odd number, ay ito ang i-expect mo. That when you talk about the left of that number that cause the denominator zero, it goes to negative infinity. <clears throat> Pababa. Pababa ang values ng y infinitely decreasing. But when you talk about the right of zero, the values of y infinitely increasing. Now, to have an example later, okay, para maintindihan ninyo, ngunit ang ibig sabihin kasi ng right, ng left at right hand, dahil hindi sila pareho ng pinupuntahan. Remember, na kapag ang left, for example, ay positive infinity at ang right ay negative infinity, ang treatment natin dito is the limit, the two-sided limit does not exist. Ito yung sinasabi. Kapag i-generalize mo, ang left kasi ay papunta sa negative infinity, ang right ay pababa, no? negative infinity. Pataas naman, positive infinity si ay baliktad ako. But anyway, this is the assumption. So, Let's make it clear. So, malimbawa, ang right daw ay paakyan, positive infinity. Ang left ay pababa, that's negative infinity. When it comes to two-sided limit, the limit does not exist. Kaya nga nilagay dito sa definition, since the left and right hand limits are not the same, this means that when n is odd number, then the limit does not exist. Take note again, class, that we've got different ways in, in, in describing the limit of a number. First, we can say that the limit of a function is a real number. We can say that. Second, you can say that the limit does not exist. Third, you can say the limit is a real number. Yan na yung one half, one third, ganun yung mga sagot niya. Okay? So, you, you can expect, therefore, that answer can be D and E. Pagdating sa infinity, ang ibig sabihin, di ba, if you try to go back to the idea, when this is like, when the graph looks like this, ito, this is okay, that is not, that is not D and E in the two-sided. How much more kapag connected talaga na obviously connected? This is also not D and E. So ang D and E naman, ayan siya, tapos na-disconnect siya. 
they are disconnected. Kung ito ang right, ito ang left, they are disconnected. Ito yung DNA in the two-sided. Pagdating naman sa infinity, if one goes up, the other goes down. Then when it comes to two-sided limits, ibang pinupuntahan, ibang behavior ng dalawa, DNA yan. Okay, but there are books wherein there are books telling you that infinity is actually D and E. Technically, it is true because when we talk about infinity, it's not a real number. And when we say exist, it's a real number. So if infinity is not a number, then it should be D and E. Other books say that. Pero sa realidad, kasi you talk about the limit, kailangan ang gawin mo isulat mo is. Passive infinity or negative infinity. Ngayon, it is sure that your answer really is D and E. Especially that if you're going to compare the behavior of the left and the right, they don't move to the same direction. So that really is D and E. Okay? Now let's have number one. In number one, we can obviously see no, that as X approaches Mibigay ko dito yung clue later. Tinan niya yung ginagawa ng... Kapag sinubstitute mo ang zero, pag nagsubstitute ka ng zero kay one over x cubed, hindi mo pwedeng gawin ang direct substitution class because one, of zero, one over zero is undefined. And in limit process, that means infinity. However, nakikita mo ang left dito. Kapag left it is negative infinity. Pag right, it is positive infinity. When you are approaching zero, or yung zero ang dahilan ng pag-zero ng denominator. Isn't it? Because zero raised to three is zero. Making it true that the answer is negative infinity. Actually, we can uh, uh, review the graph. Pwede natin tignan ng graph niya. If we're going to check the graph of 1 over x cubed, um, how does the graph looks like, look like? So y is equal to 1 over x raised to 3. That is the graph of the function. And the graph clearly illustrates to you that when you keep on approaching 0 from the left, nakikita nyo yung pababa, pababa movement ng graph. Yan yung nagsasabi class that when x gets closer to zero from the left, ang values ng y ay infinitely decreasing. Yun yung sinasabi niya. Pero kung papansinin mo, pag binagdagan natin ng, ng another related question, if you are asked therefore, what is the limit of 1 over x cubed as x approaches zero from the right? Your answer must be, you check the, the graph, pero by checking the rule, the rule tells you that the right of zero is positive infinity. So your answer here is positive infinity. If you're going to check the, le the left and right, left is negative infinity, right is positive infinity. Therefore, the limit of this, the, the two-sided limits, limit, na. so tanggalin na natin yung symbol as x approaches zero, ganun na lang. That must be D and E. At anong clue mo, class? Bakit nagkaroon ka ng negative and positive infinity? Dahil una sa lahat, nakikita mo that there, this is odd. To visualize that, let's say, for example, you change 3 into 4. Palitan natin. Kunwari, lagyan ko to. Gawin ko tong 4. So, 1 over x raised to 4. Kita, kita nyo yung changes ng kanyang graph. How do we interpret this? How do we... Uh, Paano ba natin naiintindihan ang sinasabi ng graph? Class that is x that is raised to 4. And whenever your exponent is an even number, there's no chance that the entire quantity x raised to 4 will become 0. Uh, sorry, will become a negative number because it's been controlled by the, the even number. Making it true that all values of y should be greater than 0. Kaya siya paakya. So kung... Kung tanungin ka, so anong ginagawa ng y over x raised to 4, as x approaches 0 from the left, your answer is positive infinity. x approaches 0 from the right is also positive infinity based on the graph. 
And when it comes to two-sided limits, your answer is positive infinity. Ulit. Yun yung even number. And um, may I uh, request you no, to, to watch the, the lecture on that kasi I'll be uploading it series. Naka-series siya. Okay? Or naka-sequence. Tina naman natin ang number two. Bakit kaya zero ang nakalagay dito? Una sa lahat kasi class, si zero kasi ang makakapag-zero kay x raised to 7. So pag ginamit mo yan, magkakaroon ka ng ganitong form, which means infinity. If you have left here, that clearly says that negative infinity is now the behavior of 1 over x raised to 7 as x approaches 0 from the left. A negative infinity added to 3 at ang mag magre-remain retain its negative infinity. Iba ang istorya nitong number 3 naman. Tandaan nyo, class, ang nakikita mo dito is 1 over x raised to 7. So, paano kung nilagyan mo yan ng negative sign? So, hindi ka pwede mawala. No? Katulad ng ginawa ng number 3. You have to be very conscious kay negative sign. Kasi nakita mo that this is plus and that leads to a positive infinity. However, there is negative 2, the negative sign, therefore, controls the, uh, the final sign. No? Negative times positive is now negative. So negative infinity minus 2 is negative infinity. Kaya ang sagot dyan is negative infinity. So kung halimbawa, si 1 over x raised to 7 kay number 2 supposedly is negative infinity. So a negative of negative infinity will become positive infinity. That is, you are asked to get the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. That is a negative 1 over 7. So you pay attention on the negative sign kasi malaki ang kanyang uh, epekto. The examples here are just limited as x approaches 0 because the denominators given here will become 0 when x is 0. So what if we're going to extend the definition of the rule? That is, the denominator still will become 0. However, hindi na x approaches 0 ang nakikita natin. So, let's generalize sa tayo. Aminado tayo sa number 2. We are definitely, we know that x minus 2 becomes 0 when x is equal to 2. Kaya nga 2 ito. One of the clues that you, you need to be informed is, i-check mo kung ano yung ginagawa ng x values. Dahil not at all times, na bigla-biglang sa isip mo, okay, left of 2, ang sagot ko dito, infinity. Ngayon, hindi mo pa nakicheck that ang 2 ba yan, ay kaya yung 0, ang x minus 2. Ang, yung ibig kong sabihin dyan, class, halimbawa, you have 1 over x minus 2 raised to 11, pero x approaches 1 naman ito. So, ano ang sagot? Ito, this is direct substitution lang ito. Direct substitution lang ito. Hindi, ang sagot mo dito is simply negative 1 because 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 raised to 11 is negative 1. 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Pero iba ang kaso ng number 4. Kaya number 4, nagsi-zero ang denominator kasi kung ginamit mo ang 2, nagsi-zero niya. So ang clue ulit dito, pansinin mo, and this is negative, so this must be negative. Okay? So kapag tingnan natin yung graph niya, you have x minus 2, no? x minus 2 raised to 11. So we have x minus 2 and then raise it to 11. Look at the graph of x minus 2. x approaches uh, 2 from the left, no? Left, sabi niya. Okay, we have the vertical asymptote x is equal to 2. So let's show that graph. Look at the graph class. Pag nilapitan mo ang 2, okay? Pag nilapitan mo ang 2 from the left, ang gagawin ng y values ay pababa infinitely. 
Kaya ang sagot natin sa number 4 is negative infinity. Pero pag, pin, pag nilapitan mo naman ang tooth mula sa kanyang right, ang sagot mo dapat ay positive infinity. Tinan niyo ulit yung number 5. Si number 5, si 1 half, si negative 1 half, okay? Ang dahilan na pag 0 ng denominator x plus 1 half. So, ang left ng negative half, negative 1 half, okay? Ang gamitin natin, ang, ang sinasabi, ang left ng negative 5, negative 1 half, ay nilalapitan ng x. So, it means to say, pag sinubstitute mo yung negative 1 half sa x plus 1 half, magiging sagot mo dyan is 1 over 0, which is, um, in undefined in the rule. However, 1 over 0 is infinity in the limit process. So, kaya ito naging negative. Parang ginaya mo lang negative is to negative. Pero mamaya sabihin po, paano kung negative? Paano magiging positive ang infinity when negative naman yung or left naman ang tinutukoy ng movement ng x? Negative infinity plus 4 Negative infinity yung magdodominate. Walang epekto yung constant. Okay? Number 6. O, tinan nyo to. Left ng negative 1 half. Then you have x plus 1 half. Left, ah, sorry, right. That's plus. So, right of 1 half leads to positive. Negative 1 half. Right ng negative 1 half will lead to positive infinity. Okay? And that is positive infinity as the final. So kapag ipakita natin yan, x plus 1 half, x plus 1 half raised to 13. Okay. And this is x is negative 0 0.5 or negative 1 half. Look at that. Iniiwasan nila ang negative one half. So pag nilapitan mo ang negative one half mula sa left, sasagot sagot dyan ay negative infinity. Yun yung number, number five. Pag nilapitan mo ang negative one half from the right, the answer is positive infinity. Okay, mamaya sabihin ko na ang pansin niyo. Pero magkikita natin dito class na Naka-positive lang. Positive lang ang sign. Okay? Na mga yan. Positive x, ganyan. Positive ang numerical coefficient. Kaya, kapag positive ang numerical coefficient, positive ang numerical coefficient, okay, ng x, ay kung papunta sa left, kung papunta sa left, ang makakapag zero. Okay? Then negative. Left is the negative. So parang ito. So yan. Si one half makakapag zero kay x minus one half. Dahil papunta siya sa left, negative din ito. So negative times negative is positive. Positive plus seven is positive. Okay? Ito namang number eight. You have a negative sign here. May indicating left. Nakikita mo this is positive. So kapag sinabsitute mo 4, 4 minus 4 becomes 0. So 7 over 0, bawal ulit. No? That's infinity. And uh, since positive ang x and this is left, negative infinity. Okay? So negative infinity plus 7 is negative. Mamaya, balik tanin naman natin para pag negative x naman. Okay? Number 9, o 1 ito, right of 1, so positive infinity. 1 minus 1 is 0. So, pasok siya sa infinity na sagot. Limit of constant is constant. And infinity plus constant is infinity. Kaya positive infinity pa rin ang sagot. 1, pero... Um, <coughs> 1, that's positive. Pero nakikita mo, this is negative. Negative 3. So may kakayahan si negative sign na yan na baguhin or i-determine ang final na sign ng infinity. This becomes negative. Kung tignan mo yung number 9, positive lang kasi ito. Kaya wala siyang epekto. 
So, bantayan mo lagi yung mga negative na constant. Okay? Kaya nangyari, this becomes negative infinity plus 1. Then, ah, sorry, this becomes... Ayan. There, I think there is a typo error here. This must be negative infinity. The answer is negative infinity. So, tignan natin. Tignan natin yung graph niya, class. Negative 3 on top. Para, we have negative 3. And x minus 1 raised to 15. Have that. Raised to 15. Ayan. So, let this be x is equal to 1. The vertical asymptote. And plus 1. Ayan. Ayan din tukoy natin class. Saan papunta ang x right of 1? Punta siya sa right of 1. Tinan mo, pababa siya. Ito yung right of 1. The one that goes down. Pababa siya. Ang dahilan ng kanyang pagbaba sa right, dahil kasi naka-negative ka dito. <coughs> negative 3 kasi yun. So negative, bilang isang sign ang nag-determine ng final sign. Kaya naging negative infinity siya. Negative infinity plus 1 is negative infinity. As we look into the graph, it follows. Pero pag tinanggal mo yung negative ng negative 3, ginawa mo positive 3, tinan mo mangyari class. Babalik na siya, aakyat siya. Diba? So ganun na lang ka-powerful yung negative sign na babaguhin niya. Instead, sana na right right ng 1 e positive kasi nga plus or po. definitely that symbol. Tapos left ay negative. Sana. Dahil kasi naglagay ka ng negative sign. Kokontrolin. So pag ibalik natin, magbabalik tad ng movement. Ang right ay pababa samantalang ang left ay pataas. Okay? Yun ang sinasabi nito. Ngayon, paano kung nagkaroon ka naman ng given <clears throat> diba amin, aminado kasi tayo limbawa kung gagawa ka na sa lili mong given x minus 3 pag erase ko to sa ito sa 2 let's have a quick comparison sa dalawa let's say this is 3 right of 3 let's compare this to limit of 1 over x minus 3 raised to 3 x approaches 3 from the right. Ang mapapansin nyo dito, class, una, ganito ang clue, ganito yung pag-solve sa mga ganitong problems kasi baka mamaya, baka mamaya, ang sagot nyo ay laging 0. Maling-mali, class, ang 1 over 0 ay hindi 0. Maling-mali yun. Ang gawin nyo sa ganitong problems that you might encounter on the exam or on the quiz or up to college, check the exponent. Ito even, pero 3 ito, odd naman. Okay, i-note mo yan. Pangalawa, 3 ito, x approaches 3. 3 din ito. At alam mo, aminado ka na ang 3 minus 3 ay 0. So hindi mo pwedeng i-substitute. So i-guide ka ngayon, you have now the idea. So, kung magsi-zero yan, ang denominator ay halos magsi-zero habang nilalapitan, habang ang values ng x gets closer to 3. Kasi nga alam mo na 3 minus 3 is 0. So, aminado ka na infinity dapat. Ang clue dito, class, kung even ito, kanyang katumpas ay positive infinity. Kung add ito, this is also positive infinity. Bakit? Kasi, pa, kasi pareho silang positive. Kung yan ay pinalitan mo, let's say, Right yan, no? ginawa mo left. Halimbawa, I'll write here. Left naman na pinupuntahan ng x approaches 3 from the left. At kapag ganyan yan, class, kapag even number, left or right man yan, iisa lang ang pupuntahan niya. Increasing. Pero kapag dating naman sa left ng 3 na may exponent na odd, kapaligtaran niya, negative infinity. Let's show the graph. Tinan nyo yung graph. You can appreciate actually the behavior kung gusto mong, uh, mong i-view yung kanyang graph. 
one divided by x minus three raised to two. Yan si x minus 3 raised to 2. We have the vertical asymptote x is equal to 3. Ang x equal to 3, yun yung 3 na yan ang hindi pwede going domain ng function. So I'll duplicate this input and I'll change 2 into 3. And then I'll change the color of the other. <coughs> okay. Dun muna tayo. Dito muna tayo kay blue. The graph in blue is 1 over x raised to 3, raised to, uh, x minus 3, the quantity raised to 2. At nakikita mo ko guys na itong, uh, itong graph niya ay paakyat infinitely. Ang ibig sabihin dito, mapa-left or mapa-right man ng 3 ay walang epekto sa kanya. mag increase pa rin ang y. Because alam mo naman na ano man ang gawin mo sa 3 na yan, punta ka man sa negative 6, negative 5, Eh kung negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8, square mo negative 8, positive pa rin, 16 pa rin. So wala siyang epekto. mag increase always positive ang values. Yun yung sinasabi ng naka-square. Kaya nga yung left at right ay dalawa, pareho ang sagot mo, positive, infinity. Pero bakit kaya kay uh, naka-raise kay even, na nakay odd na 3, ang binibigay ng left ay negative infinity? Samantalang ang right ay positive infinity. Kung tignan mo yung graph naman nung isa, I highlight this, and, okay? Tignan mo naman yung graph ng isa, plus, kapag nasa right ka, okay? the graph in, I think that's red or pinkish, but I think that's somehow parang red siya. Anyway, the graph on this graph, Okay, ang ibig niya sabihin, pag nilapitan niya ang 3 mula sa right, ay aakyat siya. Pero pag nilapitan niya ang 3 mula sa left, ay bababa siya. Decreasing. Because the tendency here, class, may kinalaman ang exponent, odd na exponent. Dahil yun ang kanyang definition. Okay, yun yung kanyang definition. Ayan, kaya nga naiiba lang si n that is odd. Ang left niya ay negative, ang right niya ay positive. Provided, provided na yung x na tinutukoy mo dun sa, dun sa denominator ay positive sa kanyang numerical coefficient. Kasi iba ang kwento ng ganito class. Iba ang kwento ng um, limit of 1 over 3 minus x squared as x approaches 3 from the, from the left. Halimbawa, pero this one is understood to be positive infinity. Let's say, let's place this as 3. <coughs> ano naman ang itsura nito? Ano naman ang behavior niya? Okay. Pwede mo tong, pwede kang mag-ano dito, class? Actually, pwede kang mag-experiment dito. Pwede, kahit hindi, hindi mo nakikita yung graph. Ang ibig sabihin kasi ng left ng 3, pwede kang gumamit ng, ng 2. Okay, ano pa? You can have 2, negative 3. Ito yung mga naka, nasa left, eh, mga negative numbers. Um, no, 2, you can have 2.99. Pero nakikita mo, that is 3 minus x. So kapag negative itong x mo, 3 minus negative, nung kalalabasan, din magiging 3 plus, or 3 that is 3 plus a positive. Meaning to say, class, when you are approaching 3 from the left, lahat ng values ay positive. Pwede ka mag-inspect. Dito ka mag-inspect. Oh. So kung mag a ka ng values ng 3 na mga decreasing, left of a number are decreasing numbers. At kapag sinabi natin left, we can also talk about negative numbers class. So negative minus na nga yan, minus x. Tapos negative pa yung values mo. O di lahat magpa-positive because of negative times negative will become positive. So kung gusto mong makita ang graph, so ito siya, raised to 3, no? X, 3 minus x, so palitan ko to, 3 minus x. Ayan siya. Nagkikita mo ngayon dito, class, na kapag nilapitan mo ang 3 mula sa left, tinan mo yun, no? paakyat ito, itong left. Paakyat siya. Kasi by inspection, 
Inspection can also be good. A good way for you to realize kung ano behavior. Inspect mo to. So kung magkaroon ka ng negative values, eh, minus yan. Minus a negative will become positive. Okay? At kapag yung isa naman, try mo inspect ang 3 minus x raised to 3 as x approaches 3 from the right. O tinan mo naman to from the right. Numbers from the right can be 3.1, 4, 5. Okay. Kung ganyan yung mga numbers, let's say 10 at mga pataas pa, mga pa until positive infinity. Those are numbers from the right of 3. Or ibig sabihin kasi nito, class, nilalapitan mo ang 3, very close to 3, Pero not exactly 3. You can have 3.001. Pag kukunin mo si 3 minus x na ito at gumamit ka ng values of x na very close to 3 pero mas malaki sa kanya, anong i-expect mo, mo na sign ng result ng difference? Pwede ka bang magkaroon ng negative? Or all answers will become positive? Okay, let's say gumamit ka ng 3.0001. Or what is 3 minus 3 minus 0 0.0001. Di ba na kitang kita, this is 3. Kitang kita mo naman class na mas malaki si absolute value of 3.001 kay 3. Kaya ang sagot mo dyan ay 0 0.001. This is positive. Okay, gamit ka pa. So parang may common sense siya class na dahil lahat ng numbers sa right ng 3 ay mga malalaking numbers kay 3. So kung isubtract mo yun kay 3, magiging negative yung mga uh, sorry this must be negative magiging negative yung mga sagot mo because 3 minus a number greater than 3 must be a number that's less than 3 isn't it 3 minus 4 is negative 3 minus 3.5 negative 0 0.5 that's sila negative kaya ito class when you are approaching 3 from the right your answer must be negative infinity as a behavior Inspection can be very helpful, class. Inspection. Kung inspect mo kasi ito, okay, right of 3, right of 3, or you can have 3.002, o oh, mas malaki ito kaysa 3, o di, ang sagot mo dyan, puro plus, puro positive. Puro positive, kaya ito positive infinity. Eh dahil naka-square ka pa, o di, ibig sabihin, it's very understood na lahat niya talaga positive. O dito naman kay odd number, you can see here that all values are actually <coughs> excuse me are actually being controlled by 3 as an odd number kaya kung meron kang x minus 3 let's say right of 3 gamit ka ng 3.001 okay right of 3 ano nga asahan mo 3.001 minus 3 laging positive yan class okay kasi nga right of 3 would mean all numbers greater than 3 pwede kang kumanit Yung left of 3 naman, mga malilit na numbers. So kung gumamit ka ng 2.9999, i-minus mo sa 3. O sino mas malaki? 3 or 2.999? Iba ang 3 ang mas malaki. So i-minus mo. O di mag-dominate ang negative. That's one of the reasons why this is negative infinity. That is just by inspection. Okay? It's very helpful to inspect. So, when can you say naman that the given is DNE or not DNE? First, you have to be very observ observant okay, of the exponent when that is odd number. Class, when that is odd number, you expect that the answer is DNE. Most especially when you are dealing with two-sided limits. Two-sided limit yan. So, what are the clues that you need to understand before you say that the limit does not exist? Una, when the exponent is odd, odd na exponent. Okay, pangalawa, definitely, it must be two-sided limit. Again, paano siya naging DNE? Kasi una sa lahat, ang, ang odd kasi na exponent, one goes up, goes down, one goes up. So, kapag e two-sided na ito, DNE ang kanya katulas. Pero yung, yung hindi naman DNE na sagot, kung halimbawa, pakyat yung, yung left, tapos yung right naman ay pakyat ulit, ang sagot mo sa two-sided is positive infinity. Or the other, when one goes down, and also, tapos yung isa naman goes up, I mean, pareho silang pagbaba. Ito naman sagot mo, negative infinity. So, can you see the differences, class? 
when you have two dissimilar behaviors, a negative infinity that goes up yung isa, goes down naman yung isang side, DNA siya kapag two-sided kasi nag hindi sila pantay, nagkaganyan sila. Pero kung yung isa papunta akyat, yung isa naman paakyat din, ibig sabihin, pareho ang kanilang behavior on left and right, then your answer must be positive infinity. And the clue there is kapag even ang exponent mo. Okay? Pag pababa ito at pababa din yung isa when it comes to two-sided limits, your answer is negative infinity. So can you please give me a thumbs up if you understood what I mean here? Oo, kasi baka mamaya hindi naman kayo magpapa, hindi naman solving ang ibibigay sa inyo, kundi parang which of the following is true? It might as well happen na ganun yung questions class. Because in, in the study of calculus, more than, more than knowing how to solve, but you should know when and why do you need to socialize it. When are you going to interpret or how are you going to interpret what's definitely not at all times you are solving, you might as well be interpreting. Okay? Kaya nga, ang lagi natin sinasabi, kung magkaiba ang pinupuntahan ng left at right, DNA. Kung pareho ang pinupuntahan nila, then that might exist or di kaya infinity. Okay, what do I mean kanina kung, kasi ulitin ko lang, baka nakalimot na kayo. No? Alimbawa, ito yung left, this is right. Yung left papunta sa 3, yung right papunta sa 3. So what, what is now your two-sided limit? The two-sided limit, the 3 din. Yun ang sinasabi natin class. When the left goes infinitely decreasing, the right goes infinitely decreasing. And two-sided must also be decreasing. When this increases, right increases, two-sided must also be positive infinity. When they don't share the same behavior, this is negative one, this is negative two, DNA dapat ang yung two-sided limit. Or when we talk about infinity, when one goes infinitely decreasing, one goes infinitely increasing, this must be DNA. Then I hope that's clear, class. Alam nyo, malaki kasi yung effect Ah, malaki kasi yung naitutulong ng alam mo yung definition na ganyan. Maliban sa marunong kang mag-solve. Kasi based on experience also, when it's too much for you in reviewing how to solve, then you forgot the basics just like that, makamamaya, mali-mali na ang sagot. Kasi as a, a, good, a good condition or a good thing that you need to realize, parang ito number one. Halimbawa, nag-overthink ka, one minus one is zero. Tapos sasabihin mo na ito ay positive infinity. Wrong ka na ah. Una sa lahat, hindi mo napansin ng 50 na isang, na isang odd number. Hindi, hindi niya tatanggapin yan. Kasi ang left at right niya ay magkaibang putahan odd number yan. So you have to be very careful ah. Tignan niyo yung mga conditions. Odd, odd ba yan? Even ba yan? Then, yun. Okay, now to check if you understood the odd and even uh, exponent and denominator. Actually, that is under the rule of, uh, nasan yung rule na yan? That is the rule of negative exponent rule. Oh, ito yung sa ano, even na, na, ito lang yung sinasabi ng even class. Sabi ni even, <clears throat> pag ako ay isang even number, oh, tinan nyo to, this is two-sided. Pakyat ako. Okay? Ang ibig niyang sabihin, pag ang x goes to 0, that's to the left, x goes to 0 from the right, pakyat pa rin ako. Kaya two-sided limit kay even na exponent na n na yan is positive infinity. Kay add naman, pero you have to be careful. Kasi kapag mag-detect tayo ng mga rules dito, i-detect natin yung, yung clue. Ang clue dito, class, if this is positive, this is positive. Dahil kahit sabihin mo na x approaches 0 from the right, eh paano kung ganito yung form niya? You see this negative here? Ibig sabihin ko, kontrolin niya, magiging negative tapos positive infinity. Your answer is negative. Ito kasi safe ito kasi plus lang ito or simply positive lang ito. This is simply positive. It is just safe. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you five 
questions and then uh, bigyan nyo nga ako ng sagot. I-comment yung lang ang sagot nyo. You are only four of my students. Well, it's your advantage as well. Okay? Kasi kung nakikinig lang kayo, ganyan. And then, advantage na rin yun. If you try this one at nabuha nyo yung sagot, tamang sagot, is is a good uh, indication that you are now learning no? some of the basics. So, let A be negative infinity. B, your answer is positive infinity. C, if this is B and E. Uh, D, if that is a real number. Ah, no, no, no. No, no option for real number. Is uh, E and code nyo. I-type yung mismo kung real number yung sagot. Ninyo. Okay, so let's have to get five items. Number one, what is the limit of one over x minus seven as x approaches seven? Number two, what is the limit of one over x minus seven as x approaches <coughs> seven from the right? Number three, what is the limit of negative one over x minus seven as x approaches seven from the right. Number four, what is the limit of negative one over x minus seven as x approaches seven from the left? Number five, I-comment nyo lang yung sagot nyo, class. I'm giving you um, 20 seconds to comment your answers. Choose among the choices. Or kung ang sagot nyo ay real number, ibigay yung real number. Number five, what is the limit of 1 over x minus 7 as x approaches 7 from the left? Okay, so I'm giving you 20 seconds to comment your answers and let us know if you are understanding these rules now. Okay, uh, wait lang, wait lang. May, may gusto akong pag-uhin. So, let's say, gawin natin ano ito. Naka naka raise to 22. O, oh, ayan. Yan na lang. Okay, 20 seconds. Please comment your answers for the last 10 seconds. Okay, so sagutan na natin. In number one, uh, you have to be, well, ang unang-unang pansin niyo dito, saan pa siya nakaraise? Nakaraise pa siya sa anong number? Okay, tinan niyo yung x minus 7. Itong x minus 7, ang ibig sabihin nito class, okay, ay nakaraise lang siya sa 1. Ang, ang treatment natin dito is pasok siya sa Odd number. Number two is even. Odd. This is odd. And another odd number. Ibig sabihin, conscious ka. So itong number two, alam mo na na positive infinity na to. So the answer for number two must be B. Okay. Ngayon, mag-focus ka sa lima pa. Aminato ka na ang seven ang makakapag zero kay x minus seven. Dahil odd number yan, at ito ay isang two-sided. 
then the limit does not exist class. This must be D and E. The answer letter C. Number three, ito right. Sagot mo sana ay positive infinity. Kaso nakabantay si minus. So ibig sabihin, pababa na ito. Hindi na siya positive infinity. It's negative infinity. The answer is A. Number four, negative ito. Ah, sorry, left ito. So ibig sabihin sana negative infinity. Kaso nakabantay ito si minus sign. So it means to say this must be positive infinity. Kasi by substitution class, magiging ganito sana siya. No? Negative, negative infinity. That becomes positive infinity. Ito naman, magiging ganito siya. Negative tapos positive infinity becomes negative infinity. So the answer for number four is positive infinity. That is B. For number five, you have the limit of one over x minus seven as x approaches seven from the left. Okay, from the left. This is left. Tapos nakikita mo positive ang x, positive ang one, ulang nakabantay na negative sign. It now allows you to make use of your of your shortcut. This must be negative infinity. So this is A. So yeah, I'm reading your comments. Naka direct new message to me. Okay. Okay, great. It's great. Kasi may isa na isa lang ang mali. May isa na nakuha niya lahat. Okay, that's commendable. So my advice to you, class, is to you really need to understand first odd, even, rule. Doon dalawang ito. Kapag odd, tandaan mo ang left ay negative infinity, ang right ay positive infinity, provided na positive ang numerical coefficient ng x or di kaya positive ang buong, okay, ang buong term. Ang ibig kong sabihin buong term, parang ibawa 1 over x minus 1, that's positive. Pag nilagyan mo talo ng negative, yun na mag-negate na siya. So, hindi niya na mapapagay yung negative, negative, positive, positive, para sa infinity. Sa even number, walang problema sa kanya. Palaging positive infinity. Okay? Huwag lang na mangyari na may nakabantay na negative. So, na ibig kong sabihin dito sa may nakabantay na negative. Let's say, for example, ito. Biglang may negative ito. Positive infinity nga sana ang sagot mo, pero nung nag nagay tayo ng negative, babaguhin niya ito magiging negative infinity na siya. Okay? You really need to be very conscious on that case. And inspection can help you, class. Inspection can help you also. Okay. One more item, and then let's see if you can get this. Let's have number six. Number six, let, may I know your answer? What is the limit of one over three minus... 2x raised to 33 as x approaches <coughs> me, 3 over 2 okay from the left so what do you think is your answer can you please comment your answer comment a if that is negative infinity B, if it is positive infinity, C, if it is T and E, and then real number, kung may real number na sagot ka. Number six, you can actually make use of inspection here. Okay, so may I know your answers, class? May you please comment? Is your answer negative infinity? Positive infinity? Or C, D, and E? Or you have a real number answer? Uh, you may expect na pagdating sa quiz natin ay itong apat na choices na ito ay posibleng lagi pagpakita. 
Okay, may sumagot ng letter A. So, letter A is negative infinity. What about the others? Okay, so two answered letter A. Pag mag-inspect kayo, <coughs> excuse me, paano kapag mag-inspect kayo class? Is it really negative infinity? Negative ang inyong sagot? Negative infinity? Ano, ano ba yung mga nasa left? Yung mga nasa left ni 3 over 2. Ito yung mga negative numbers. Okay, let's try to understand. Ang nasa left, this is the kind of inspection class. It can help you. This one, it tells you that you are referring to left. Left of 3 over 2. Left of 3 over 2 are numbers less than 3 over 2. So, alam mo din na ang 3 minus 2 times 3 over 2 is 0. Alam mo. So, kaya niyang is 0. So, ibig sabihin, magpo-fall yan under 1 over 0. So, i-expect mo, infinite, infinity nga ang sagot mo. Pero is it negative or positive? Okay? Ngayon, ang left of 0, ang sinasabi nito, left of, left of 3 over 2, I mean, it means to say that you are referring to numbers less than 3 over 2. Pag nilakihan mo ba, <coughs> pag nilakihan mo ang 3 over 2, you are increasing 3 over 2. Magdo-dominate ang negative sign. Isn't it? Isn't it? What if nil nililitan mo ang values ng 3 over 2? You can have 1 half. 3 over 2 is uh, 1.5, right? What if you have 1? 1 1.25. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So what is 3 minus 1.45? Is it negative or positive? Isn't it positive? So what is 3 minus 1.4555? Positive or negative? Is it? It is positive. Okay. Ano ginagamit natin dito? Ang ginagamit dito ay left. Itry natin ang right. Oh, inspection lang ito, class A. Ah? By inspection. Tinan nyo yung ginagawa naman ng right. 3 minus, okay. If that, if if 3 over 2 is 1.5, okay, gamit tayo, 1 point, ah, wait. Uh, I'm, I need to, ano, this is times 2 pa pala. There is times 2. Okay. That, that, that must be times 2. So, 2 times a decreasing number 3 over 2 that's going to the left. Okay. Nagikita mo dito that 2 times 3 over 2 kanina is already 3. Okay. Paano kung nililiitan mo pa ang 3 over 2? Would you expect that the values of 3 minus 2x keeps on increasing or 3 minus 2x will keep on decreasing? Okay, we can also check the graph. Kung hindi nyo na, na, nakikita nyo yung by inspection, makikita na. In the inspection, we can see na kapag nililitan natin ang values 3 over 2, nagiging, um, nagiging positive ang, ang buong values ng 1 over 3 minus 2x raised to 33. Pero tinan natin ang graph. Okay, we can have 1. 1 over 3 minus 2x. 3 minus 2x raised to x exponent raised to 33. Yan siya. Pag nilapitan mo ang 3 over 2 galing ka sa left, ay aakyat ang, ang buong aakyat ang buong values ng y. Yan siya. Class. Can you see the graph on the left? 3 over 2. This this graph here is 3 over 2. The graph in orange is 3 over 2. In the inspection kasi class, kapag i-inspect mo, kung binabawasan mo ang values ng 3 over 2, ang mangyayari kay 3 minus 2x. When you keep on, when you keep on approaching 3 over 2 from, the, from its left, ang 3 minus 2x ay aakyat. 
Bakit kaya? Dahil kapag i-inspect mo nga, 2 times 3 over 2 will give you 3 already. Pag baba, ibaba mo pa, pababain mo pa yung values ng 3 over 2, you can have 1 half for example. What is 2 times 1 half? It is 1. Isn't it? Pumababa ang values ng 2x. So ibig sabihin, 3 minus pababa na values ng, 3, ng 2x ay laging positive. Kasi nga, mas malaki na si 3 sa values ni 2x base dito sa ginagawa inag ng x approaching 3 over 2. Yun yung dahilan class kaya. This must be positive infinity. It must be positive infinity. Pero yung, yung kapila naman, when x keeps on increasing or approaching 3 over 2, ang ginagawa ni 3 minus 2x, ay tuloy-tuloy man siya sa pagtikis. Uh, a very good clue of that is pwede, pwede ka mag, mag uh, let's say gamitin mo ay 2. Di ba? 2. Mas malaki ang 2 kaysa, kaysa kay 3 over 2. So what is 3 minus 2 times 2? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Itong negative na laging resulta, ang indication kaya infinitely decreasing ang lahat ng values na pupunta. Infinitely decreasing ang magiging values ni, ni um, 3 minus uh, 2x. Okay? infinitely decreasing. How much more at nakaraise nga siya kay 33 bilang isang odd number? May bearing ulit si, si exponent na 33. The more na hindi yan magpa-positive, that will go to negative. Ganun yung, mga ganun cases. Kasi it will control. The negative the 33 as an odd number will control the possible results. Walang magpa-positive. Possible may positive. Ah, walang, hindi lahat ipapositive sabi niya. Kung may nag-negative, mag-negative mag lapas siya. Hindi niya ko control. Hindi, walang control si 33. Walang control si odd number pagdating sa mga negative. Negative pa rin ang magtutok. Okay? So, can you please comment if you have uh, queries? Is it okay naman? By, that is just done by inspection, pero if you're not uh, Satisfied with the inspection, you can check the, the graph. The graph can also tell you that we get, when you get closer to 3 over 2 from the left, y keeps on increasing. Ang um, advice ko sa inyo, you can do inspection. Pwede mong inspect no? Paano kapag magbigay ka ng isang number na napakalapit kay 3 over 2? Ano kaya yung sign na ibibigay niya? Negative or positive? Don't you know, plus that is also a clue? Una, tignan mo kung, kung at number siya. 33 at number, okay. Ibig sabihin, posible ang negative or positive ang sagot. Dahil kapag even number yan si 30, even number sana yung exponent, ibig sabihin, that will always be positive infinity. Wala nang mahabang tanong. So kapag nagre-review kayo, obserbahan mo kapag at ang binigay. Dahil kapag even naman yan, it will always be positive 